Hello, I'm Shirley and welcome to my channel. Uh, we're just about to set off to the garden centre. We're going to do some plant shopping. It's my first time since starting my channel um, that I'm actually going to do some indoor plant shopping. So I hope that you come with me. I hope we have a great time and I hope you stay with me and at the end I'll show you the plants that I chose for today. All right then, see you soon. All right, here we are. Oh gosh, look at that, that's the Brazil. I always love the Brazil. I have actually bought myself one. Um, I don't know why I didn't buy one beforehand. I think it just didn't present itself to me. But just look how lovely they are. And there we've got some ferns, some beautiful ferns. Asplendium chrissy. And some succulents and some cactus. And there's the Calencho Queen. I think they're lovely, just beautiful. Look at these lovely little flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? They're like little rosebuds. Oh, just opening. Oh, Enchovaria lilancia. Beautiful, just like a rose. Peperomias. Oh, and here is the Marantas. Maranta fascinata. She's so beautiful, look at those red lines, velvety leaves. Some anthuriums, some ivy, <clears throat> they're all lovely, aren't they? I love the way they display the succulents, it's so nice. I must get myself some more. Sansevarius, and this is the honey. I believe it's the dwarf variety. And I think that one was the golden, yeah, that, that's the golden, and that one just might be black diamond. I'm not sure. I haven't got the name on the label. Uh, we'll go over here now and have a look around. Oh yeah, look at this. Stromanthi. Oh God. The times I've looked at this plant and gone to buy it. I don't know why. I think it's because I thought that I had too many calthea types. But just look at that. How can you resist it? It's so beautiful. Yeah, I think I might get that one. And there's the spider plant we all love. I've still got my own from some years ago now. And the uh, Anthurium. That's a pink champion. That's a lovely, lovely one. And the palms. Oh, and this is an Amabilos. Very unusual word, isn't it? It reminds me of Spain and the bulls somehow. Oh, and this one is beautiful. Orange Orchidastrium. It's actually a, a chlorophytum. And here is the pink Oxalis. That's a lovely plant as well. I do love it, isn't it? It's so feminine, fresh and free, sort of fairy-like almost. And I love this one, Aphalandra botanica. I just love that. It's so bold, so bold. It was, it's from Brazil and it has yellow flowers, believe it or not, beautiful yellow flowers. And here is the zebra stem of the Alocasia zebrina. Isn't she lovely? I haven't got one of these yet. I'll have to have one. The stem is so beautiful. Just the stem alone, let alone the leaves. So lovely. And there are some lovely Fitonias and Marantas. And those lovely velvety leaves. We saw that earlier. Some more Anthuriums. It's beautiful. And Rufi Barber. It's a funny name, isn't it? Oh, we hear some air plants. Oh gosh, these are lovely. Tillandsia red, they're called. And here's the heart, string of hearts. These are beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Aglaminas, Diffenbachias. This is the Af Aglaminia um, Silver Bay. Beautiful, isn't that? Just lovely, it just takes you to the to the Caribbean or some islands or other. So peaceful, they just give me a feeling of peace. 
and here is R. Um, Defenbachia Leopard Lily, that's the one, beautiful. And this is Dracaena Fragrance, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these little bushes, these are like oregano. Oh, lovely, beautiful. And this is, oh yeah, this is White Wave on the left. White Wave, and this is beautiful Tradescantia Bright. She's lovely. They call this White Wave Birkin sometimes. I think it's lovely, I might get one of these sometime if I don't get it today. She's so gorgeous, White Wave. Uh, just look at the way the leaves sort of crisscross over each other and the, the stripiness. It does look a bit wave-like, doesn't it? can understand it. It's a tropical plant, by the way. I have this one myself. She's really beautiful, lovely, beautiful purpley leaves underneath and these gorgeous stripy colours. Some people call it Sabrina Violet Hill and they cascade down, they grow very bushy. If you're lucky enough to keep them going, you do have to work with your prop propagation to keep them going there. Oh yeah, umbrella plants and Fatsia. She's a Japonica variegated. I think that's what they call her. Fatsias are such beautiful plants. I do love them. Just look at those leaves. Gosh. And here we have some Dipsis lutentescens. <laughs> Difficult to pronounce. Lovely palms though. Staghorn ferns. These are lovely as well. They're very glossy actually. Look how they shine. And they do grow quite wide just like staghorns, which is where they've got the name from, obviously. And then we've got some Nephrolepsis vitail. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but they're so ferny-like, aren't they? They're so pretty. I, I don't know how big these get. Hedra white variegated ivy. <laughs> some rattlesnakes. Oh, I love my rattlesnakes. My rattlesnake's great. I've had her for a few years now. She's just great. They grow so well. They're so hardy. They're in the Calthea family, but they do grow well. I've got mine in my living room. It doesn't go brown. It's just got a little bit of brown on one of the tips. It's really good. Whereas my other Calthea plants, I, I can't keep it in the lounge. It's too dry. Some orchids. Some more ferns. They're mixing them all up. Oh, and the Achamia Blue Rain. She's got lilac flowers. Aren't they lovely? I mean, it's so striking, isn't it? More orchids. They've got quite a display in this garden centre. It's lovely to see them. Some more rattlesnakes. Oh, and here, Beauty Star. This is Calthea Beauty Star. I think she's just lovely. She's got such fine, delicate markings and lovely, big, lush leaves. And underneath, she's all sort of, what is it, purpley, red, so beautiful. And here is the Spathiphyllum. Beautiful, big, luscious leaves. And she's called Vivaldi, she's a luscious plant. And here is the Macchiana. Oh God, don't, she, doesn't she look gorgeous? Just look at those colors. Oh wow, oh lovely. You'd want to put her elevated a little bit so you could catch both of the colors. There's the crocodile fern, oh my God. Oh, I've got to have one of these. I keep denying myself, but there's so many to buy. You only have so much money in the kitty, don't you? Oh, look at this. Oh, I've got to look at this. Just look at this. This is Asplenium Campio. 
isn't that beautiful so luscious look at the gloss on those leaves oh god i must have one of these sometime if i don't buy it today i've got to buy one there's some boston ferns some lovely orchids oh and here's one this one asplenium antiquium <laughs> don't think i've said that right hurricane just look at this she's glossy she's curly and look she looks like a hurricane she looks like she's just been windswept oh wow a force of nature isn't she anyway i'd better round all this up now folks and um see you back at home with the ones that i've decided to buy Oh, well, here I am. Um, we had uh, a lovely time. It was just great going around and looking at all the plants. I love the garden centres I always have. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed looking at the plants. And here are a few that I've actually bought because I can't resist. Um, now then, um, this is the Botanica. Isn't she totally gorgeous? I just had to have her. And um, I've since realised that she will grow a beautiful yellow flower. Now, um, that is going to be quite amazing. Whether she'll do that, you know, indoors or not, I don't know. I had to have the Stromanthi. It's just impossible not to buy the Stromanthi. And she's just so lovely. Just look at her. She's gorgeous. So she's going to go with my collection of uh, Calpheas. I know that she perhaps isn't strictly a Calthea anymore because they've changed, um, you know, whatever you call it. They go from one extreme to the other with these things, don't they? Changing names. Um, and this one is the Trade Scantia, uh, Trade Scantia Bright. She's just so lovely. So I'm adding her to my Trade Scantia collection. I'm really pleased with her. She's so sweet. And then this one is real little joy. This one is, um, she is uh, called Sunset Magic. I almost forgot because there's a couple of these sunsets and they have different names. This one is Magic. And she has all these different colours in the tips of her leaves. So I'm really happy with her. And she just looks like a little tree here. And she's got another little shoot there. I hope you can see, because I don't know how close I should be. There's even another little shoot coming up here. So I've really taken to these just recently, and I think they're just lovely. So I hope you've enjoyed yourself coming around with me, looking at the plants. And um, if you have, please like and subscribe. I'm still a new channel and I will be doing some more plant shopping now that I've started. Bye.